the aviation industry, known for its cutthroat competition and inherent risks, has seen the rise and fall of prominent players in India. From the likes of Kingfisher Airlines and Jet Airways to recent challenges faced by GoFirst, there are valuable lessons that brands can learn from these experiences. The rise and fall of this once prominent airline is a lesson that can be a learning for all top brands. From strategic missteps to customer dissatisfaction, GoFirst failed to understand the importance of adaptability, customer centricity and staying true to your brand values. All of GoFirst's flights were abruptly cancelled in May 2023, causing a huge inconvenience to many customers and leading to widespread frustration. The job losses that may have occurred due to this have also led to anxiety in employees. The airline went bankrupt by falling short to cover its liabilities. Since the flights were discontinued during the holiday season, it led to many other airlines increasing their prices which disturbed the booking and travel. However, when big brands like Go First crumble, it becomes crucial to understand the factors that are responsible for it. Many experts attribute this sourcing strategy as one of the core reasons for their failure. The airline relied heavily on a single engine supplier, Pratt & Whitney, which proved to be a significant obstacle. Technical issues with the engines led to a sharp increase in the percentage of grounded aircrafts over time from 7% in December 2019 to 31% in December 2020 to 50% in December 2022. In contrast, other airlines like Indigo managed the situation better by utilizing multiple engine suppliers. Adopting a multi-vendor strategy allows businesses to mitigate risks, enhance stability and benefit from competitive pricing and superior quality components. The rebranding of Go Air to Go First in 2021 aimed to position the airline as an ultra-low-cost carrier, prioritizing attractive fares, cleanliness and punctuality. However, the sudden suspension of their flights has revealed a broken brand promise. This disconnect between what was promised and the actual situation has deeply disappointed the customers and harmed the brand's reputation. Lack of strategic planning is another factor that contributed to Go First's downfall. However, their problems arose from delayed communication, both internally and with customers. The sudden announcement of flight suspensions without prior notice caused confusion and dissatisfaction. It raised concerns about why ticket bookings were still accepted despite the financial difficulties. Effective communication and careful planning could have mitigated negative media coverage. To succeed, brands must prioritize clear communication within the company, keeping customers informed on time, and exercise caution when offering products or services. Lastly, financial troubles have also contributed towards its downfall. Go first, financial troubles were due to various factors, including their low price strategy, debt pressure, and reduced sales due to grounded planes. The airline suffered a significant revenue loss of Rs 10,800 crores due to faulty engines and grounded aircraft. This led to a challenging situation where expenses accumulated while revenue generation halted. Currently, Go First is burdened with debts exceeding Rs 11,000 crores, including banks, financial institutions, vendors and aircraft lessers. Go First has been one of the strongest airlines and was even recognized as India's most trusted brand by International Brand Consulting Corporation, US. While well, there is a possibility of the airline making a comeback, rebuilding the trust of customers will be a challenging and time-consuming task. Only time will reveal whether GoFirst can regain its credibility and re-establish itself as a reliable airline. However, the journey will require immense effort and dedication to restore its position in the aviation industry.